Two primary and two secondary schools are transformed into cultural hubs for young ambassadors from Taiwan. The Gordon and Walcott Memorial and Dame Poulet Louisi Primary Schools and the St. Joseph's Convent and Leon Hess Secondary Schools are playing host to Taiwan's young ambassadors as the group continues their week-long program of cultural exchange. The first stop is Gordon and Walcott. Young ambassadors are given an authentic Creole-style welcome. The visit is a proud moment for the principal of the Gordon and Walcott School, Miss Margaret Gabriel. She says the visit is also fitting since her her school is the only one on island which is twinned with an elementary school in Taiwan. We feel very excited and special that Gordon and Walcott was selected as one of the schools to participate in this program and it is a continuation of our long relationship, our friendly and cordial relationship with Taiwan where our school was twinned in 2020 with Gutin Elementary School in Taiwan. And ever since, we've done a number of activities with them to strengthen our relation and to share best practices, etc., with Taiwan and with Gutin Elementary. In 2020, one of our, uh, 2022, one of our teachers did an exchange and a virtual lesson, social studies lesson, with the students of Gutin Elementary. So today is the continuation of our relationship with them. The grade three and four students are captivated with the cultural display of games, dance, and music. A culinary lesson in pancake making keep the young ones engaged. For Dante Charles, this was the best tasting pancakes ever. Uh, I was eating um, a, a pancake. It was um, a nice one. It was the best one I ever tasted before. The cheese was the best thing about the pancake. I enjoyed the fact that I, that I learned how to um, make pancakes. You, you take the pancakes off and then you put um, your, your strawberries, whatever, chocolate, cheese, yeah, anything you like with it. it and then you eat it. Traditional Taiwanese music is featuring through all of these engagements. It is expected the music will also take center stage at the Cultural Night on September 7th. The bamboo flute is a popular Taiwanese traditional musical instrument. It has a rich history and dates back many centuries. The traditional cultural uses of bamboo is a similarity that both countries share. Youth Ambassador Benson Yang explains that the bamboo flute holds special value in Taiwanese culture. The Dizi is the most representative traditional Chinese woodwind instrument and its history can be traced back to bone flutes discovered 8,000 years ago. Through historical evolution, it gradually adopts bamboo as its primary material. In Taiwan, the Dizi is also referred as Pina in Taiwanese and it serves not only as a solo instrument, but also as a melody for traditional Chinese operas. Thank you. For the girls at St. Joseph's Convent, the visit provides a rare opportunity for communication in Taiwan's official language, Mandarin. The language was introduced as a subject at the SJC last year. Intended initially as a pilot project, the subject is now in its second year. Language teacher Ms. Cooper says the hope is that their students will be able to write the subject at the CAPE level. Rosa Emanuel is one of the students hoping to take the Mandarin exams at the CAPE level. She says learning the subject is easy. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward, who was on hand to welcome the youth ambassadors at the Gordon Walcott School, says the visit to the schools will broaden students' worldview and inspire them to expand their horizons. Forty students from Taiwan are showcasing their specialized skills as part of the International Youth Ambassadors Exchange Program. From the Government Information Service, I am virtually on T reporting.